In the last two months since our last engagement with the media, the command has sustained its efforts in ensuring we meet our obligations to the Controller General of Customs and his management team. It is towards this service objective that we call you here today. Of course, you know that this objective, which form the key performance indicators of our service as outlined by the CGC in its policy trust of consolidation, collaboration, and innovation. It is in line with this policy trust that Tinkana Lamport Command tagged the year 2024 as the year of stakeholders, which further align with the theme for the International Customs Day Customs, engaging traditional and new partners with purpose. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished colleagues, we chose the slogan, Reform or Regret, as our weekly slogan for this week in Tinkan Alam Port Command. This slogan is in support of the mantra that Nigerian Customs Service have adopted that people must conform with rules and regulations in line with national objectives. We are glad to announce that several of our stakeholders share our vision of voluntary compliance and are supporting our reforms in the command. With the cooperation of this category of stakeholders and a few others who we have encouraged to comply through our enlightenment programs, we are glad to announce that the command as of today, the 7th of November 2024, has generated the sum of 1 trillion and 46 billion 496 million naira to the Federation account through the custom revenue we generated. The command wishes to celebrate this milestone of collecting over 1 trillion as custom duty being the first time this has been achieved in the history of Tinkan Island Port Command. I dedicate this achievement to the Contra General of Customs, Bashir Adewele Adeni MFR, and his management team. The command acknowledges the specific roles of the Deputy Contra General of Customs in charge of trade and tariff, the Deputy Contra General of Customs in charge of ICT and modernization, for their contributions towards this achievement. We are aware that a secured border will translate to more revenue at the seaports. Therefore, we also appreciate the support of the Deputy Coordinator of Customs in charge of enforcement, investigation, and inspection in enforcing compliance among our stakeholders, leading to the increased revenue in the command. While we celebrate our esteemed stakeholders who embraced our reforms and complied with customs extant laws and guidelines, those who did not are regretting their loss and the pain of non-compliance. Today, we are unveiling 16 significant seizures of illicit substances unregistered pharmaceutical products and other items seized by the command. All 16 containers are on display for this press briefing, and I will now provide you with details of these significant seizures. The summary of drug importation activities in Tinkan Island port. A total of 16 containers were discharged from between May and 17th October 2024. The drugs imported include codeine-based products, numerous shipments of cough syrups with codeine, bacadine, and codeine bronch bronchlia, DSP with codeine for throat and chest cough, 100 ml, 200 ml per carton. We also have tapentadol and carisoprodol 
420 cartons of Royal Carisoprodol BP. We have benzohol tablets, cannabis indica, diclofenac tablets. We also have imported from India some other drugs in this category. These other drugs also include becadine, diclofenac, and benzol with codeine. We have yet another category of drug imported from the United Kingdom, biomal atesinate injection. And of course, the cannabis indica was imported from Canada. These containers were inspected by multiple enforcement agencies, including Customs, NDLEA, and NAVDAC. Consequently, we will hand over this, a total of 13 containers of registered products with duty paid value of over 4 billion naira to these agencies. Recall that on the 2nd of October, at this same port, the command officially handed over 684 packages of cannabis and liquor weighing 341.025 kilograms with an estimated street value of 682 million naira to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. What we are witnessing today can best be described as the beauty of synergy. I'm indeed highly impressed that barely few weeks of my absorption in, of office at the Think Island Post Strategic Command, we are witnessing this mammoth quantity of illicit drugs beautifully taken out of illicit circulation through the combination of effort of sister agencies. There can be nothing better than this. Imagine the cost to the society, the cost to individuals, and the cost to families if these drugs have escaped our watchful eyes. So I want to say a big thank you to the Nigerian Customs Service and every stakeholder for the sharing of intelligence that led to this beautiful seizure that we are celebrating today. Container we extracted the cannabis indica, one of the ones that uh, we've already handed over to NGLA. This is one of them. From this, we seized the bacadine codeine Sorry. and uh, unregistered diclofenac, as we can see from here. But they concealed it with a uh, fan and the greater, grinding greater, domestic greater, used in the, in the kitchen. So this, the, the main content is uh, this, codeine and uh, illegally and unregistered diclofenac. Similarly, this one too, as a grown clear, Mixed with codeine, unregistered diclofenac, and of course, bacadine codeine too. These are the contents of this. Again, they tried to steer away our attention from this by declaring them as kitchen utensils, uh, greater for grinding vegetable and fruits was Fearing cannabis indica is one of those from where we extracted the 341 kilograms of cannabis indica, which has already been handed over to the Drug Law Enforcement Agency.